when a major university like Minnesota is engaged in hiring a president, the word spreads rapidly across the land and across the world. But there is a formal process through the Chronicle of Higher Ed, and literally the ad goes out, University of Minnesota looking for a new president. And we have engaged a search committee out of Dallas, Texas, and we're now anticipating that some semi-finalists will be placed on our desk shortly for us to consider, to see if we want to take the next step and bring them in for personal interviews. The budget is about $3.1 billion dollars at the University of Minnesota. At one point, the state of Minnesota provided through its appropriations somewhere between 38 and 40 percent of that. Today we're down to 17 percent because of state cuts. And we have to make up the difference either through tuition, uh, donors, uh, cuts, other kinds of revenue. So we're forever sharpening the pencil and trying to make the budget balance at the University of Minnesota. A student at the University of Minnesota will spend time abroad. We have a very aggressive international program. This concept that the University of Minnesota should be at one of the top three research and educational universities in the world. There's a tremendous amount of competition to gain entrance into the University of Minnesota. This year's freshman class, there were 36,000 applications for about 6,000 um, gaining freshmen, so about one out of six. This is the highest SAT average test scores. Well, graduations are tremendously rewarding when you're handing a diploma, either a graduate or undergraduate diploma, to a person, knowing they work very, very hard at the University of Minnesota, and we know that diploma is worth something across the world.